All right, here we have the RX 6800 XT at the maximum non-ray traced 4K settings. And we're holding about 60 FPS here. And if I start running around and like fighting those enemies in the distance, we will dip below 60 FPS. But you certainly can play this game at between 50 to 60 FPS, completely maxed out at 4K on this graphics card. However, one really exciting thing for AMD users in this game, I think, is the TSR. I know this has FSR, and FSR can look pretty good, but TSR is a temporal super resolution, which honestly I think is extremely similar to what I'm expecting FSR 2.0 to be like. So if you want almost an early preview of FSR 2.0, I think taking a look at this might be a good look at it. So here is with the TSR at the ultra quality setting. And notice that we are jumping up over 80 FPS now. And so as long as you don't want to use ray tracing, this is pretty much all you need to do. Although if you want to get an image quality comparison to FSR, honestly, FSR ultra quality looks pretty good as well at 4K, but I think especially as you get to the more aggressive settings, TSR does look better. You can see there is also a performance difference. But when I'm looking at the distant, li distant license plate in front of me, I can't make out the individual numbers when I'm using FSR, but when I'm using the TSR at its ultra quality setting, I am actually able to tell that that license plate is 270-70. So I can just 100% confirm to you that TSR, even though it doesn't give you quite as big of a performance boost, it does absolutely look closer to native. And in my comparison with DLSS, TSR looks a little bit grainier. I think there might be more sharpening happening, but it's honestly almost on the DS DLSS level especially as you get to more aggressive settings. So the next thing I want us to look at really isn't turning down graphics settings. It's gonna be looking at our, our performance at 1440p. So let's go to 1440p. And this time, I don't think we need to have any of the re resolution scalers. And if you want more side-by-sides and zoomed in on the resolution scalers, take a look at my RTX 3080 uh, video. Well, the video I made on my RTX 3080 where I tested all the graphics settings in this game. You can see here that it maxed out non-ray tracing settings at native resolution. The 6800 XT is not gonna have any issues. Sure, if I get into combat, it's not gonna stay over 120 FPS, but we are really not gonna have problems. So I think this means it is time to kick on some ray tracing, which means I am going to have to restart the game. We now have all of the ray tracing settings completely maxed out, and this is at 1440p. I think 4K ray tracing on this graphics card is a little much, although if you use super resolution aggressively, you know, maybe we'll actually test that out. But currently we're at 1440p, and you can see I've all the normal settings completely maxed out. And I've also maxed out the ray tracing settings and we are at native. We are not using FSR or TSR. And you can see that we're in the 40s and if I actually get into combat, it is going to dip below that. So I think that it makes absolute sense to use the TSR upscaling. Again, I think it does look better than FSR when using ray tracing on this card. So let's go ahead and try this out with the TSR at the ultra quality setting and see how far that gets us in terms of performance. Well, that's it guys. I think this still looks quite close to the native 1440p image, but we get lots of nice ray tracing effects. Now, if you want an even higher performance um, difference, Another good option here is in the ray tracing settings, the reflection quality is the big difference changer. And by going down to medium instead of high, we can actually gain another big chunk of performance, but we still get most of the nice look of the ray traced reflections. So what I'd like to do now is actually move around and see if we can maintain good performance with all of these ray tracing effects enabled. 
Now, I don't currently actually know how to play this game because I have just been skipping around. <laughs> Looks like we are getting some dips here. Uh, but I've been, for the most part, just skipping around to benchmark things. <laughs> so I don't actually know what the buttons do. Although I am trying out the PS5 controller. Um, because I've heard it all it has all the adaptive trigger effects and such supported on the PC version of the game. Let's see, I need more... more of the little crystal thingies. To use as ammo. Wait, left trigger hold and grab oh, well. You know, this seems actually perfectly playable with 1440p ray tracing using the temporal super resolution, which like I said, I think DLSS might have the tiniest edge in image quality, but it is, I think, pretty close at least. Reflections and everything do seem to look quite nice with these settings. Can I actually beat these guys? <laughs> Hold and grab, there we go. Now we got him. But, I don't actually necessarily want to win this combat because I want to keep here for further benchmarking videos. Now, is it just me or does something look a little bit weird and grainy? I don't know, something about this doesn't quite look right to me. Is it the upscaling or is it the... Um, the ray tracing. I'm gonna kick back to native just so we can uh, see about that. So we go back to the native resolution. So we'll see native performance now. Still, I don't know, something about that just looks a little bit funny to me. Hey, I don't want to die. But actually the native performance here, even with all this ray tracing on, is certainly playable, although it's certainly also below 60 FPS. So you know what? I've got to say, the ray tracing in this game does not seem nearly as demanding as it is in a lot of other games. However, uh, let's see if we could manage to get it somewhat playable at 4K. So let's go ahead and go up to 4K. And first we'll try it out at the actual native resolution. You can see we are in an absolute slideshow. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. But I think we should try out the TSR. Now I have a feeling we're going to have to go fairly aggressive. Let's let's start out at the quality setting, which I believe is an upscale from 1440p. And that's getting us fairly close to the 1440p performance we had, but there is some uh, upscaling overhead involved in that. Although this does look pretty good. Let's go ahead and try going all the way down to balanced. Okay. Once again, I don't know if it's... Something just looks weird with that, with that car's windows. <laughs> don't you agree? Something looks weird there. Is that like ghosting issues with the upscaling? I don't know. But for the most part, we're actually getting a pretty good ray traced performance here. It's, wow, certainly not staying above 60 FPS. But it is actually playable. It's not unplayable. <laughs> By the way, another place that you can get some significant performance gain, I've noticed, is with the global illumination. Now, I haven't tried it with ray tracing enabled, but if, if you change it to um, screen space ambient occlusion instead of global illumination, uh, it doesn't look like it makes up for the ray tracing. So maybe the ray tracing is replacing the global illumination. 
I'm not sure, but I was wondering if turning that down with ray tracing enabled would help at all, because um, when you're not ray tracing, that is the number one effect that you would, in fact, notice. Hey, look at the bottom of the screen in motion here. I think that's some ghosting of the reflections on the on the street there. I'm curious if we turn off the super resolution. If we still get that go, actually, you know, I think that might just be part of the engine, maybe, because I feel like there's still some of those little uh, trails of bright lines without the TSR. And honestly, this window still looks a bit funny to me, although maybe not as weird as it did with the TSR. So maybe that's just something about the game itself. I don't know, guys. But I've got to say, I'm actually really impressed with most of the visuals in this game. And the ray tracing effects do not seem to be quite as terribly optimized as a lot of games, especially on AMD GPUs. And honestly, the temporal super resolution looks quite good. Let's actually try it out at the performance mode. And even the performance mode looks at least reasonable on my 4K screen. It certainly looks a lot better than FSR 1.0's performance mode. Though I feel like uh, these little like highlights on the on the van might be kind of extra sparkly or something. <laughs> but let's just compare this. If you're not taking my word for it being a lot better than FSR, let's go down to performance mode on FSR. And things just look much, much blurrier to me. I lose a lot of the detail in the writing and the signs. That car still looks weird to me. <laughs> um, yeah, overall, I've got to say it's, it's no comparison. TSR is miles ahead of FSR 1.0. And I think it's a preview of what we should expect from FSR 2.0. I hope this video was useful for you guys, and I hope that you have an excellent day.